Howdy, my name is Cameron Ehlers and I am a kinesiology major class of 2016. I have been on the team for two years and I am currently the team captain. Howdy, my name is Mark Oliva. I'm an international studies major class of 2017 and this is my first year on the team. Howdy, my name is Austin Kolodechek. I'm an industrial engineer major, uh, class of 2017. I'm currently the vice president of the Texas A&M water ski team. Howdy, I'm Chris Patch. Um, I'm a member of the Texas A&M water ski team and I'm from Houston, Texas. Hi, I'm Victoria. Um, this is my first year on the team as well and I'm from Hamburg, New Jersey. I'm Avery Witt. I'm a freshman and this is my first year on the team and I'm from Napoleon, Ohio. So in your own words, could you describe the club for us? The club is a family. It's fun. It's a whole lot of fun. A good time. Yeah, we're, we just like to come out and get better and have fun. Good excuse to get out of class on Friday. The club is just a bunch of really cool people that enjoy the same passion, which is the lake and water skiing. The, the club for me, it's about teamwork, it's about family, it's um, about enjoying and having an awesome time and beautiful opportunities meeting people from everywhere around the world not only Texas or America but the whole world and just having a blast it's hard to describe it's just one of those things that you can't come to words with it, we all like one another we all come out and hang out with one another and we spend so much time together so coming into the team, what was your skiing background and how has that changed? Um, I have been barefooting all my life, um, but I didn't start three bin skiing like solemn, trick, and jump until I got here. And so it was actually on Lord's Lake where I actually learned to do all three of those events uh, for the first time. I had none and now I have some. <laughs> um, I've grown up on the water, grew up mostly kneeboarding and tubing and wakeboarding, but I started driving a lot more when I got older. I really started skiing, skiing when I got here. Yeah, I've always just been a recreational skier, so this has been first time ever trying competition-wise. Well, I've been skiing for all my life in Spain. I, I don't know if I said I'm from Spain, but I'm from Spain. <laughs> um, I ski in the sea, which means waves, salty uh, water, and more complicated stuff and I've pretty much enjoyed it for all my life. Then I got here and I started getting more proficient at it, doing all three events, jump trick and slalom and now I even tried barefooting and dude this place is just perfect for all of them. On average how much time does the team take up in your life? All of my life. <laughs> it's really fun. Well I'd say it takes quite a bunch, but only because I want to. If I could, I could. Act, I would actually make it take more time. Yeah. It all depends on how much you want to put into it, really. Yeah, I agree. Pretty much every weekend we either have a tournament or some sort of uh, social. We also have meetings every Tuesday night, and so. Um, it's absolutely flexible. You cannot show up for a month. Nobody's gonna say anything. Although everybody will try to drag you to the lake so you can have fun instead of studying too much. The team takes up quite a bit of my time, but it's because I let it. I really enjoy coming out here. I, if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't be here. Sometimes I'm out here yeah. three, four times a week. So Right now I got an essay that I need to work on for tomorrow. <laughs> Sit in the car. Not only you know is it ski team stuff, but all my friends are on the ski team. And so if you wanted to calculate that, I mean all the time. Because I want to hang out with my friends all the time, and so that's what I do. It's just, it's a great time and I devote, any anytime I'm not doing school, I'm out here at the lake. I think um, this is a great sport that you can enjoy uh, pretty much all year round here and um, it depends on you really. So what has influenced you the most uh, in joining the team? Well, I came here as an exchange student and I discovered the team in the, inter in the open house at the MSC and as soon as I got to the lake, I was like, dude, this place is awesome. These people are awesome. I'm staying. And I did not only stay for the year, but I moved to the university to stay here and graduate from Texas A&M and stay in the water ski team for two more years. Trying something new and meeting new people. Meeting new people and I've grown up on the water, so why not stop now? Um, I've always liked water skiing, so 
gives me a chance to escape class and come water ski. We can come out here any day of the week and we just come out here and try new things and ski and hang out. It's a great, great time. So speaking of three event, could you describe a collegiate tournament for me? Collegiate tournaments involve a bunch of college kids out in the sun at the lake having fun. So the three events consist of slalom skiing, trick skiing, and jump skiing. We go out there, we compete, and it's serious but not so serious. We go out there just to have fun. So we ski out here all the time, but what is your one favorite thing to do out here, and can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, I love absolutely everything we do around here. I love when we come here and we chill around the lake, when we do the dinners uh, with the team, but mostly, obviously, skiing, and in my personal favorite is slaloming. Um, right now, I am already going through the six buoys, and my objective is, uh, by the end of the summer, um, do 30 miles an hour, which is better than what my father can do, which I'm really, really excited about it. My favorite thing to do at the lake is Try something new every day. My favorite thing to do on the lake is barefoot water skiing. Um, basically what that is, if you've ever seen two skiing, it's kind of like that except without the two skis. So you go about 40, 45 miles an hour between that range and you do tricks while in the water just on your feet. So it's pretty cool. All right, so let's say you're stuck on a deserted island. You can only have three things with you. What are they? Go. Well, um, a year ago I would have said definitely a Nutella jar, um, uh, probably a knife, um, and a GoPro. Right now I'm keeping the GoPro because I need to take selfies of that island for sure, but probably I would also take a slalom ski and a rope. I would try to tie it to a shark or something and try to ski around the island since there's not much else to do. A boat, a rope, and my bare feet because I don't need skis. Three things, go. I would take my snake, I would take a boat, and I would take a hammock. That's what I would take. A Yeti cooler full of water, um, a pair of sunglasses, and a radio. Um, I'm so thinking hard. a case of beer, a knife, and how about a pretty girl? <laughs> um, okay, so we're stuck on an island, so that means there already is water. So I'd probably bring a knife, like you said. Okay. Um, I mean, is there reception? Like, would my phone be useful? Uh, Guys, come on. You okay. need a boat, I need gas, a <laughs> and a rope. <laughs> okay, <laughs> take it. I don't gas a Yeti rope. cooler floats, so... <laughs> if I'm stuck on a deserted island, I'm, I'm shacking up there, living there. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Literally shaking up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm living there. <laughs> it's a it's a deserted island. I'm good. Okay, again. It's easy when you have sunglasses on. Nope. Is yours going? Tie a rope to a shark. Tie a rope to a shark. Alright, smart. I think we should do that. You stopped it? You did. Yeah. That's good. Uh, am I turning it off now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you did. Oh, Casually funny. took a dump in the back of the East Park. You know, if you keep asking that question, you're not going to be able to use a lot of them. I know, I know. I'm thinking, somebody tell me like, I'm bad. well yeah, the first time I went. I came into the team as a w Wally. I didn't know anything about three event skiing. I came in slalom skiing at 20 miles an hour behind a boat on a public Lake Conroe. It was crazy. And now I've opened my eyes and I see all this three event and it's barefoot water skiing. It's a blast. Yodelay! It happens. Say the Going city. Joy Hamburg, New Jersey. Life they, of a boat uh, driver, man. It's a place. Lightning. Yes, it is. Do they have right. good hamburgers? No. Do you want to come out tomorrow afternoon? Dang it. No worries. Possibly. I gotta go back. Compared to, to Texas? No. That's true. 
I, I yeah, you texted us on how I got to the team. Both. Yeah. Hey, that's my phone. Somebody want to hand it to me? Oh, yeah, you can pull some. No! He's going to cut you. Drive safe. Bitch, I'll fucking cut you. Cut a bitch. I'm going to hang up on you. Hey. I'm young, playful, and baby face. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> the jingle that goes with the baby. <laughs> what, what do you...